have a uh, we have one coming up uh, next. So blah 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 blah. Aerosil progress. Looking forward to this. They have a new ending. So it's, uh, blah 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 blah. We just took a break. It's uh, out here. We're at the, in the shade. We just went to Aloha refreshments. Aloha. Oh. Let it go. Let it go. I got the power to read minds. That's right. I am telepathetic. Hello everyone, it's Jesse with the Daily Diz and I am here with my daughter Emily. We are in Magic Kingdom. We uh, are just going to enjoy our day. We don't really have any specific uh, plans that we we did. We are doing uh, Genie Plus today, so I'm interested in seeing how that works out for us. It hasn't worked out for us in the past, so we'll see. Uh, I'll share some tips today as well as some uh, news, some new Disney news. So uh, let's go inside and let's go do this. Also excited to ride People Mover today as there now is a new narration to include Tron. So I'm super excited about that. Also excited about checking out one of my favorite nostalgic attractions and that's Carousel Progress. They've updated the ending. Always a big fan of that attraction big reason it's one of Walt Disney's creations plus it's just a good attraction to just relax after being on your feet all day and cool off and stay dry on those wet summer hot days here in Florida Happy to report to you gentlemen out there that the barbershop will be op reopening back up on the July 31st. Already a busy day here in Magic Kingdom. Park just opened. Already noticed large crowds though. It is Sunday, July 17th. My Disney partner for uh, the, Di the Daily Diz, it's her birthday today. We won't say how old she is, but she is older than me. Big birthday day for her. So happy birthday, Joyce. I think we're gonna start off with our Magic Kingdom tradition for Emily and I. We're gonna stop off at Starbucks Something we sort of do pretty much every time we come. Springs the other day and I knew they had some new sandwiches at Starbucks. I'm not a huge Starbucks person but we were in line getting something for Emily and I noticed they had a new sandwich. Got the double smoked uh, bacon, egg, and cheddar sandwich. And uh, Emily got a frap and uh, caramel frap and she's Danish. And I just got a latte. Like I said, we uh, have the Genie Plus uh, today, so we're looking forward to giving that a, a, a shot today and seeing how that works out for us. Haven't had the most uh, success with it in the past. Uh, our first uh, reservation is starting now. It's 9:25 to 10:25. It's Haunted Mansion. Um, they're always the, the it's always changing. Uh, last time I did it, we were able to book two reservations at one time. But today um, only allowed me to, to book one. Um, I do recommend if you do do this, that Magic Kingdom is like the one park I think you can have success at, at the Genie Plus. The other three, um, 
I don't know. It's kind of a hit and miss with the uh, other parks. This one too, you have to kind of treat the Genie Plus more as a game and not so much as a tool. If you treat it as a tool, you're gonna to be pretty disappointed because you're gonna to expect to be able to get the rides that you want and it's just not gonna happen all the time. Um, the times won't match up, the rides just aren't available, um, technical difficulties may have the ride shut down, that sort of thing. Um, if you're limited on time, you have to kind of weigh it out whether or not it's, it's worth it. Hey guys, sorry. Sorry buddies, we just totally ran out and my latte is a little bit too hot for you. Maybe next time. See you guys. Guys, we have uh, Eeyore and Pooh and the rabbit and him. And uh, who did I miss? Rabbit, Eeyore, Pooh, and Piglet. Duh. Oh. Thought it was recording and I, as I always do, it wasn't recording so I kind of missed the Missed the entrance. We're gonna get back in line. We were in line for photo pass. Can't come to Magic Kingdom without getting a little, little shot of the castle here, Cinderella's castle. Especially right now, the crowds up here, at the front aren't too bad. Everyone's separated and going back to their favorite tri ride and attraction. Emily's getting some pictures here. You can get one? I can't get a table. I'll just do it tonight. Okay. We're gonna see if we can, uh, we got here right after the park opened. So we're gonna see if we can make it throughout, the, make it the entire day. Open till 11 o'clock tonight. I do have to get up at 3.45 in the morning. <laughs> And we do have about, uh, it'll be about an hour and a half to get home tonight. Uh, tra traffic, anyone that's familiar with Orlando and the Disney area knows the exits around Walt Disney World can be a nightmare, if you're, especially if you're going back towards Tampa. No matter what time of the day, 3 p.m. to midnight, uh, traffic can be backed up. A few exits and add time to your travels. This morning, it only took us like an hour and 15 minutes to get here. Maybe an hour and 10, hour and 10 to hour and 15, wasn't bad. actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm? And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out <laughs> of course there's always my got off of uh, Haunted Mansion. Uh, success uh, for G Genie Plus today. Got in, got in maybe what, five minutes? Yeah, so pretty good. Uh, always known to break down at least once. I don't wanna say break down, but stop for whatever reason. I enjoy it because when you're, it's still hot outside, uh, having an indoor attraction, especially Haunted Mansion, it's one of the coolest uh, indoor attractions here. So if you're gonna get stuck on a, a ride, 
Yeah, if you're gonna get stuck on a ride, this uh, Honda Mansion is one of them to get stuck on. Emily, <laughs> she on the other hand does not like getting stuck on that ride. We're uh, gonna enter uh, Peter Pan. What's the what's the wait time? Oh, 50 minutes. That's not bad. All right. No, let's stand by. Let's stand by. All right, guys. So stand by for Peter Pan's only 50 minutes. This is actually one of the uh, attractions that I enjoy the standby line as long as it's not too long because you get to go in Wendy's bedroom and there's games and activities and stuff for the kids. There you got apps you can download and uh, play the games. So it's not a bad one to be inside. It's cool in here. So it's, you know, if you're going to be inside for 50 minutes, I'd rather be inside than outside waiting in the line. That's magic. got off of uh, Peter Pan just moments ago. Uh, the standby line was 50 minutes. We weren't able to take advantage of uh, Disney Plus with that ride. Didn't need to. Uh, the ride uh, time ended up only being like 25 minutes, maybe 30 at, at most. It's one of those uh, times where we just went ahead and chose to go ahead and jump on there because the waits for Peter Pan can be over 70 minutes to 100 minutes uh, throughout the day. So for when we saw 50 minutes, we took advantage of it uh, and again it only en ended up being like 25 minutes uh, the play Disney app was the one I was mentioning that you can download to interact there inside Wendy's home next up under the sea with uh, Little Mermaid only a 10 minute wait all right guys here's an example of an attraction that's not gonna be it shows 10 minutes I think it's still showing 10 minutes when we walk in but this is obviously not a 10 minute wait. So as I said moments ago, Peter Pan was about half the time that it stated on the standby line. This one's definitely more than 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> 
an example of again you know if you're, if you're using the genie plus you have to really prioritize your rides which ones are the most important to you based on just which ones you find maybe your favorite or based on average wait times typically uh, under the sea is not one that you'd want to wait too long in line where you're trying to if you have limited time you don't want to invest too much time standing on the line it typically is a short line uh, usually on a mermaid I wouldn't uh, Say, I'd say anything longer than 30 minutes isn't really worth waiting for. 10, 20 minutes for that ride's definitely worth it. I think next up is Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain uh, is showing 50 minutes right now. If we were to use our Genie Plus on that particular ride, we would have to wait for uh, several hours. And so since we have a Thunder Mountain uh, reservation for, I believe, 1225, we're gonna go ahead and jump on Splash Mountain. Uh, since it's only 15 minutes and just right next door to each other so we're making most most efficient use of our time today by line it's now gone up from 50 to 70 since we've since we gotten off of uh, under the sea so it jumped up 20 minutes it does look <laughs> it's like more than 70 minutes guys we do have uh what we have to be back to uh thunder mountain between 12:45 and 1:45, so this is an example, of, you know, you have Disney Plus, so you have to weigh whether or not you want to chance it and try to get a reservation for later, or stand in the line for an hour, and uh, so it's a, whether or not you want to make the most use of your time. We do have, what, an hour to kill before our next uh, reservation, right next next to us here at uh, Thunder Mountain, so we're going to go ahead and stand in line and hope for the best. We just want to have to weigh it out at this point whether or not it's worth doing or taking a chance hitting that pushing that slot machine that lever to see if you can get uh, this attraction for later in the day and not have to wait without a guarantee that's no guarantee though I mean I've been in lines uh, an example last week where uh, uh, Haunted Mansion was the lightning lane was just as long as the standby lane so you just never know Keep up with the party in front of you at all times, filling in all available space. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy your visit here at Splash Mountain and the rest of your day at the Magic Kingdom.
Well guys, we had missed our window for Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain. We ended up being there about a good hour longer. Would you say? How long? So we are, it was supposed to be a 70 minute wait for Splash Mountain. So we missed Thunder Mountain, our Th Thunder Mountain return window by seven minutes. Uh, still able to get on. So they give you a little bit of leeway, flexibility there. Uh, usually around five to 10 minutes. So we're supposed to be back uh, here, uh, 12, between 12.45 and 1.45, we got here at uh, 1.52. <laughs> All right, so we rode Thunder Mountain, got on there, like I said. Uh, the Once we once we entered the uh, lightning lane, we may have had to wait five or 10 minutes and uh, was able to get right in. So it wasn't a bad, bad situation. We wouldn't have, uh, it's one of those examples where we chose to ride Splash Mountain before Thunder Mountain and wait in that long line due to the close proximity of each other, the, the rides were next to, next to each other. Barely made it, we wouldn't have made it if we would have chosen a, a, an attraction somewhere else perhaps. We got there with the idea that uh, Splash Mountain was only 15 minutes. Originally we get we get up to the uh, up to the ride and it ended up being 70. Ride was up and it was down off and on throughout our uh, time in line. So we didn't really pay attention to the clock but pretty close to two hours that we end up waiting. So we barely made it. Like I said, we ran over our return window by seven minutes, but we're still able to get in. So next, uh, Genie Plus ride attraction and reservation for is for 3.30 is our return window for Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. yeah. So we have, till three, we have between 3.30 and 4.30 for that. Um, Space Mountain weights have actually been relatively low for that ride. Uh, it's been averaging about 40 minutes. So it's only 40 minutes right now. So we're going to go ahead and walk, walk into Tomorrowland. I'm going to go ahead and jump on uh, Space Mountain and perhaps do a couple other rides back while, while we're, we're over there. And then we'll shoot back over to uh, Pirates of the Caribbean around 3.30.
Sing it, Emmy. What? Sing it. Sing what? Sing what? What's going on right now? For your safety, please remain seated. Thank you. We're getting a lot of that today. A lot of temporarily delayed. All right, standby lines. Stayed at 40 minutes. It's taking about 50 minutes to get to this point. <laughs> All right, guys, just got off of Space, uh, Space Mountain. Uh, from the time we entered the ride, or entered the building until we got off the ride, it was about an hour. So they they showed 40 minutes when we we got there. So not not really too bad. Uh, next up, 3:30, we have um, our next Genie Plus time uh, for Pirates of the Caribbean. So we're headed there headed there now. Left, left. My left. Huh? Let's go up there. Right here. So the standby line is 40 minutes. Raspberry swirl. Emily, what'd you get? A tropical serenade. And uh, it looks like a cake pop. Some sort of cake pop. I'm guessing we'll find out what that cake pop is because you haven't had that before, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a raspberry cake pop, perhaps, yeah, with coconut, just uh, rolled in coconut. So, is it good? Yeah. So, anyway, we're gonna chow on these and then we're off to. Uh, we have no idea. All right, guys, just in case you were unaware, the uh, Aloha Isle refreshments, that's dole, made up made out of Dole Whip. And that's a uh, Magic Kingdom uh, favorite, I guess. Kind of a go-to uh, treat to have here when you're in Magic Kingdom. It's always kind of refreshing and cools you off on a nice hot day. So I had that raspberry swirl. I've never had that before, so that was really good. Uh, they're talking rain showers between 4 and 5, and we just heard some thunder. You can see some, kind of behind the trees there, you can see some pretty dark gray clouds, so it's always a good idea when you're planning your, uh, planning your Disney day to keep in account that during the summer months you can always expect some rain, uh, pretty good chance. So when you're planning your day, keep, keep track of the weather. Uh, weather, weather reports and kind of plan your day around that. So it's a good time but right now. We're looking at trying to jump on some attractions. Try to jump on some attractions where we can be uh, indoors just in case we do get that rain around that time. So we are headed to uh, Monsters Inc. indoor attraction and then after that we have uh, Lightning. We have a, a Genie Plus uh, attraction uh, for uh, Buzz Lightyear. And that starts at uh, 
around 4.30, I believe. And then we're gonna do uh, Carousel Progress, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, as I said earlier, Carousel Progress has a new ending. They finally updated it, so always a huge fan of, of that attraction. It's always a, a favorite of mine uh, for lots of reasons. One reason, it was one of Walt Disney's uh, vision visionary rides. It's one of the rides that one of the attractions that just say ride, but a, an attraction that Walt Disney uh, created himself. So always one of my favorites to go to. 20 minutes, so kids always sometimes get bored. I'm not gonna say that I hadn't fallen asleep a time or two. Coming up to uh, Main Street, you can see that's some storm clouds. You never know if we're actually gonna get the rain that they predict, but a good chance. Photo opportunity we're gonna take advantage of here in a second. Then off to Tomorrowland. All right, guys, I think it's our turn. All right, Monster Z, standby line is 10 minutes, just in time to beat that rain. Ceremony. Folks, we're just five minutes away from bringing you into the theater. But first, I'd like to explain how we monsters got into this funny business. Hit it! Welcome to Monsters Incorporated. You are now standing inside the premier laugh factory in the monster world. Okay, the only laugh factory in the monster world, but definitely the best. We're home to the funniest monsters that ever roamed Monstropolis. Just a few short years ago, our world was powered by your screams, and we at Monsters Incorporated would go door to door and collect those screams from kids all over the world. It was simple. The more screams from you, the more power for us. But then I discovered that human laughter was 10 times more powerful than scream. Whoa! -ho -ho! So we got out of the scare business, and now we're making money with the ha ha. Now, this you're gonna love. Instead of sending monsters into your world, I came up with the brilliant idea of the Laugh Floor, where we invite you into our world. Everybody's buddy, I'm Buddy Boyle. Hello, everybody! Oh! Welcome to the Laugh Floor. When I point to this... Or else... Or else what? Or else this! <laughs> Sally's job to collect screams for power by making scary faces. Scary face. Make a scary. Ooh, scary. <laughs> and everyone would scream. <laughs> Wonderful. You see, that's how we made power in Monstropolis. Everybody say yay. Yay. yay! Yeah, but then one day a little girl wandered into the monster world through an open door. And her name was. Why well, are they booing me? No, sis, they're saying her name. Boo! <laughs> Cute and adorable, and she could play peekaboo. Can you cover your eyes with your hands and play peekaboo? I don't know. Yes, you can! Aww. That's adorable! I got the power to read minds. That's right. I am telepathetic. <laughs> so raise your hand if you have a mind. Oh, the powers are pulling me to you. I'm back all day, you nice human. What is your name? Emma. Correct. <laughs> Well, the timing worked out for us perfectly. We got off of Monsters, Inc., out of Monsters, Inc., and it came down a nice uh, rain shower, but it's uh, not raining now. So uh, we have, next up, Buzz Lightyear, and we have a, 
a timed return window for that one. It's just started and uh, then carousel progress. Hey. I'm about ready to take on my daughter. I'm gonna kick her butt. Carousel Progress. Always one of my favorites for many reasons. Uh, looking forward to today because they have a new ending. So check that out. I won't video the entire show. It's a 20 minute show if you haven't seen this before. It's a dream come true for you and me, so there's a dream. Attention passengers, please remain seated during the entire presentation. Once again, please remain seated. Thank you. If you look on the mantle, you'll see a hidden Mickey. Isn't it a pleasant holiday? No, no, turkey's in the oven, it's peaceful and quiet. Yes! 300 points, my best score yet. Well, it was peaceful until Santa brought that new virtual reality space pilot game. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Oh. All right, here it comes. Oh, you missed him. Hey, everybody. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell a refrigerator to bring me a root beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights, 30% brighter. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that voice-activated stuff. Watch this. Robert, speak! John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Can you try? Oh, okay. Here goes. Temperature to 375. Reminds me of certain people I know. Yeah, right, Dad. You gotta lose them, Grandma. Thanks to the right. Remember Dad's turkey last year? Yeah, I think. <laughs> really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Ooh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Did you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe all the new gadgets they've got now. You know, in my day... Oh, that... no. You're not going to tell us about the old days when you didn't even have a car phone. Hey, Trish, for a while we didn't even have a house phone. Not to mention laser discs, high-def TV. Everything is automated today, including... Well, including that. No privacy is all around this place. Sorry, Orb. Anyway, you guys don't know how good you got it nowadays. You know, my grandpa told me the very same thing when I was a kid. Take that, you nincompoop! Hey, check it out, Dad. Grandma's up to 975 points. Wow, 975? <laughs> John, what's wrong with the oven? What, uh, uh... Big mode complete. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Anyone who pizza? Oh, another Christmas.
Christmas turkey ruined. Man, what a game. I really smoked those guys. Looks like I'm resident playing ace now. Oh, that's two out of three, Grandma. Later, kid. Boy, that was fun. What will they think of next? Who knows? We've got a whole new century waiting for us out there. Yeah, and maybe sometime in the new century, your father will learn how to talk to our oven. Well, maybe by then ovens will read our minds. But hey, as long as we're all here and happy and together for the holidays, who cares if I burned our Christmas turkey? I do. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's going to be so automated, you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great thing you can tomorrow. Shining happy every, every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow is just a dream away Man has a dream and that's a spot That was fun. Uh, it was nice seeing that the uh, outfits were updated on the uh, fourth and final stage there in the end of the show. They can only now update the gadgets, electronics and appliances and perhaps the script. You know, they talk about the gadgets being like car phones and the, uh, outdated appliances, electronics, and the and on the stage. And uh, they mentioned about uh, another century ahead. We've been in that century for 22, 22 years now. So uh, maybe one day they'll they'll finally update uh, those things as well. But it was nice to see the the uh, the clothes, the outfits uh, updated at least. Always great to to. Um, to sit down and watch uh, Carousel Progress uh, for many reasons. Uh, one, when you have weather like we're in now, it, it keeps us dry. It's a hot day, so it's, it, it cools us off because it's a 20-minute ride. But most importantly, it's one of Walt Disney's uh, creations. So to be able to, to enjoy something that Walt Disney created himself is always a, a magical experience. So uh, anyway, we're going to try to stay dry and think of what we're going to do next. We might go ahead and jump on People Mover, although the line for People Mover, I imagine, is pretty long right now just because of the weather. Uh, we do have, uh, what, uh, another attraction, uh, G Genie Plus uh, ride coming up in about an hour? Right? No, it's like right now. Oh, it's right now. Okay, so we're going to try to venture over to um, It's a Small World. Well, guys, after a Florida summer shower, Two things can happen. One, it can get really sticky and and even worse. Or it could be like it is right now and it actually feels nice out here. The, the rain's kind of overcast and the rain sort of cool things down. And it's not a, I mean, it's a, it's a hot day. It's not as hot as it's been, though. It's I think uh, high today was around the upper 80s. You know, it's been upper 90s. So compared to that, it's not been it's not been a bad day. But uh, right now, after that rain, things have calmed down. Uh, it feels really, really nice out here right now. We are headed over to uh, It's a Small World. I think this is a great place to end our day in part one of our two-part series here in our day in Magic Kingdom. Be sure to stay tuned tomorrow where I will have part two of our magical day here in Magic Kingdom. Until then, guys, remember, Disney is a place where dreams do come true. We'll see you tomorrow. Jump on that here after a while. It's 50 minutes.
right now. Uh, and speaking of Winnie the Pooh and some of other other rides here in uh, Magic Kingdom, as often you'll get, huh? Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, which will be reopening on August 25th. There's an example of why you jump on some rides when you when you have the opportunity. There's Peter Pan all the way back here. That's for the this is the Lightning Lane. Uh, pretty long little line there for Lightning Lane. Standby is showing 85 minutes. When we were on here, it was 50, but uh, we got on about 25 or 30 minutes. That's as part of planning your day. Uh, standby line for It's a Small World is 30 minutes. But of course, we're on Lightning Lane, so everything so far uh, today for Lightning Lane has been like five minutes or so. So uh, I've been here before where the Lightning Lane as long as the uh, standby lanes.